In this lesson, we're going to focus on one type of government intervention in the market for a particular good. We'll be looking at indirect taxes. We'll define indirect tax and distinguish between two types of indirect tax, a specific and an ad valorem tax. Then we'll do a graphical analysis of the impact that each of these types of tax will have on the supply of a good, and we'll further expand our understanding of the impact of these taxes by examining how they affect the supply equation for a good. Let's start with the definition of an indirect tax. Generally speaking, there are two types of taxes that a government can levy on the people of its country. There is a direct tax, which is a tax on income, and there is an indirect tax, which is a tax on either production or consumption of goods. There are many different types of indirect taxes. If a tax applies to the consumption of all goods, it might be called a sales tax or a value-added tax. There are also what we call excise taxes which apply not to all goods and services, but rather to particular goods or services. That's what we're going to be looking at in this lesson. Indirect taxes act as a determinant of supply and lead to a decrease in the supply of any good on which the tax is placed. Essentially, a tax increases the marginal cost of provision of a good. So knowing that the supply curve also represents the industry's marginal cost curve, taxes increase the marginal costs, which have the effect of shifting the supply curve up or inwards graphically. Let's now distinguish between specific taxes and ad valorem taxes. The only difference between these two is that a specific tax refers to a tax that is a dollar amount or a particular amount placed on top of the price of a good. It does not change when the price of a good changes. The tax value is fixed and does not vary with the price of the good. An ad valorem tax, on the other hand, is probably the one you're more familiar with. It is a percentage of the price of the good. In other words, as the goods price increases, the amount of tax increases. Now let's do a non-mathematical illustration of the differences between a specific tax and an ad valorem tax. Let's look at our graph on the right here. Let's assume that supply for a particular good is represented by the upward sloping curve S1. This represents marginal cost, so I'll call it S1 equals MC1. A $2 specific tax will simply shift this supply curve up by the $2 of the tax. A $2 specific tax would shift this supply curve vertically by $2 since it increases the marginal cost at every level of output in the industry by the amount of the tax. So I can show the impact of the specific tax as a vertical shift upwards by $2. The new supply curve would have the same slope as the original supply curve, but would lie exactly $2 above the original supply curve. I'll call the new one S2 equals MC2. And this is the supply curve with the tax. Let's look down at the 40% ad valorem tax. We're going to do a mathematical illustration of this in a moment, but we're going to do a simple graphical explanation first. We'll start with the same supply curve that we had in the graph above. We'll call it S1 equals marginal cost 1. Now, instead of a per unit specific tax being placed on a good, we're going to see an ad valorem tax which increases as the price of the good increases. So 40% at a price of $1 will increase the marginal cost to $1.40. So I could put a point right around here at $1.40. However, when the price of the good is $4 and the quantity supplied is around 55 units, the tax will be much larger. 40% of $4 is $1.60, so this raises the price to $5.60. So if we connect our two points here, what we can see is that the slope or the gradient of the supply curve actually increases when there is an ad valorem tax placed on the good. So we have a new supply curve, S2 marginal cost 2, with the tax. And the main difference here is that the slope has increased because the amount of tax placed on the good increases as the price increases. So down here we have only 40 cents between the two supply curves, whereas up here at a price of $4, the distance is $1.60, or 40% of $4. It's time to do a mathematical analysis of the differences between a specific tax and an ad valorem tax. Here we go.